Well, it's finally here. Magic Lantern is now available for the 70D. Well, at least for many 70D owners, but we'll get to that later. For those of you who do not know what Magic Lantern is, simply put, Magic Lantern is a third-party developed software, a hack that can be used with certain Canon DSLRs. Magic Lantern adds significant functionality that is not otherwise available on your Canon DSLR. For example, focus peaking, zebras, an intervalometer for time-lapse, raw video capability, and many other features. It was originally developed for the Canon 5D Mark II, and has since been developed for the T3i, T5i, 6D, 7D, the 5D Mark III, and many others. An alpha version of Magic Lantern is now available for the 70D. I want to thank Nick Freak and Alex for developing this great software. This video walks through the steps to download and install Magic Lantern on your 70D. One thing that should be mentioned is that Magic Lantern should be downloaded with care because this alpha version is not yet fully stable and may harm your camera, as well as void the Canon warranty. As I mentioned, this alpha build is only available for certain 70Ds. Only with those with a serial number higher than 6871947635. If your 70D has a serial number that is higher than that number, you should be able to use this version of Magic Lantern. However, if your 70D has a serial number that is that number or less, you will need to wait until a version is coded for that revision of the camera, which I understand not to be available until this current version is considered stable. If your camera meets these specifications, you understand the risks involved, and you want to continue with the installation, let's get started. Step 1. Download the Magic Lantern software. The 70D Alpha build is not yet on the Magic Lantern website, and you must actually go to the Magic Lantern forum to find the download. Once here, it is under the camera-specific discussion and in the sticky that says 70D. Scroll down on the first page and click the link. This will bring you to a download page where you should download all of the files. Step 2. Put the Magic Lantern files on your SD card. You should unzip any zipped files that were downloaded and put all of the files on the root of your SD card. It should be noted here that you should use a fast SD card that has sufficient storage space as this will be necessary for recording raw video. I would recommend getting the SanDisk Extreme Pro, which writes at 95 megabits per second and would get at least the 64 gig version. Step three. Switch your camera to photo mode. Eject the SD card from your computer and insert it into your camera, and switch your camera to the photo mode and take a photo. Once you have taken a photo, switch your camera to the info screen while it's still in camera mode. Step 4. You will need to update your camera's firmware in order to download the Magic Lantern software onto your camera. The firmware update option is in the menu third from the right, and it is the bottom option in that menu. It should say current firmware is 1.1.1, update firmware, and you want to press OK. If the firmware installation is successful, your camera should automatically switch back to playback mode and a message should appear saying enabled boot disk happy face. If you do not get this message, you will have to restart the process. Once this is done, power off your camera and remove your SD card. Step five, download Mac boot or EOS card utility. 
Magic Lantern cannot properly run on your camera until you make the SD card scriptable and bootable. Unfortunately, there are separate steps to follow depending on whether you own a PC or a Mac. As you'll note, the steps on the Magic Lantern forum assumes that you own a PC. If you own a PC, just click on the link on the Magic Lantern forum, download the program, and follow the instructions on the forum and on that website. If, however, you want a Mac, you are going to want to search for Mac Boot. Once here, you will want to download both files. Step 6. Put the files on the root of your SD card. Make sure that you unzip all files that are zipped. This is important, so make sure you do this. Then you will need to open the macboot.command file, which will prompt you to enter your computer password. Once the program is open, you should switch the max card size to 128 gigabytes, and it will search for suitable cards. Drop down the Select Card Drive dropdown and choose your SD card. Then you want to select Make DSLR Bootable and also check the Debug On box, and then press Prepare Card which will make the SD card work properly with Magic Lantern. Step 7. Insert the SD card into your camera and turn the camera on. Make sure it is not in playback mode and then press the trash button. This will start Magic Lantern. You will see all the menus and the options, and you can turn various features on and off. Well, I hope this video makes the process for installing Magic Lantern on your 70D a bit clearer and you are able to unlock the power of Magic Lantern on your 70D. Depending on whether there is interest in this video, I will make a follow-up video showing the various features in Magic Lantern and detailing certain limitations with using it on the 70D. Well that's it for this video guys, thanks so much for watching.